we have been waiting for this for six months now. The, yes. The truck can't make it up the driveway, so we are heading down with the tractor. Josh is gonna scoop it up with the forks and yep. we're gonna party. I'm extremely excited. I Me cannot too. wait. <laughs> So, so excited. You can make the interior of the house just pop, right? Yeah. We have our custom lights for the house and we probably there's been an ongoing discussion for probably since we said it's gonna be an A-frame. Yeah, long we, time. It probably took us about a year, a little over a year to find the right lights that we wanted. We searched Maybe a and searched more. and searched. But it's a big deal because, you know, the A-frame ceilings are, are so high yep. and these are kind of like a the statement piece or a yep. centerpiece of the house. So we wanted to be sure that, uh, that they were right. Yep, so we ordered them and it took six months to get here. And today is the day. And I'm very, very excited. Yes. No looking until we look at the same time. Okay. You can't cheat and look. I think we wrapped, think we think we wrapped up. Wait. They're wrapped up. See, I told you they're wrapped up. I knew they were going to be wrapped up. See? You wrapped up really good. Uh, I don't know yet. Maybe 60, 50, 60 pounds. Whatever it is. If it's if it's a certain weight, I'll just have to put new holes in the uh, 8B box and uh, tap them to a bigger screw. That's all. Not a big deal. I'll make them work. But am I going to have to hold them in the air while you attach everything? Obviously. By myself? On a ladder? Up I that mean, high? You're 6'2", Aaron. <laughs> you know what I mean? 260. You can, I think you can, you can hold them in place. One, two, three. Get them heavy. All completely handmade and welded. It's fantastic. I love it. We put plywood on the island to safeguard the island because how disastrous would it be if we were all the way up on the scaffolding and we fumbled a measuring tape, a screw gun, whatever, and it dropped and uh, damaged the island. <laughs> we're gonna try and prevent that from happening. We took out the 832 screw that was in the 8B box. 
Um, the reason why these lights are extremely heavy, uh, they're pushing the limit of uh, having that box be able to hold with these screws. So I took the number eight screw out, retapped it for a 1032. There's an 832, so it's got retapped to a 1032. It's a bigger, larger, thicker screw, so it'll hold more weight. So I'm gonna put that in real quick. See, she was she was full of excitement. Um, a lot of courage. Now she's up here. She's feeling a little sick. <laughs> I did so well. To Don't do that. Are you serious? <laughs> no wonder I get sick up here. Oh my goodness. It'll be alright. I just, when we do these sorts of things, I tell myself or I remind myself that it's going to be over. Well, here's a good thing. Um, we want the bottom light to be five feet from the top. Yes. The light is three foot seven. So from platform to top, it's like three or five foot one. So I'm motion sick. All we gotta do is pick up just a little bit. So we'll, we'll do all the work and stuff. We'll pick up just a hair. We'll put it on there. It'll be floating top top of the scaffold this much. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So once that's floating and swaying, <laughs> you know I don't I mean? talk about the swaying. It's I know. Be fine. It's gonna be over. It's gonna be over soon, right? Three. That's it. Guy, no big deal. No big deal. Right. We got this. You got this. <laughs> I got it. One, two, three. Good. All right, so all we gotta do is move the scalp out of the way and it'll drop down probably about an inch and it'll be uh, hanging. If you guys remember an old video, we actually had bracing going across two rafters like this, and then I had a, a bracing going across that way that sat on top of the other bracing. The box got screwed to that with uh, four um, structural screws, so this guy is good and sturdy. It shouldn't, shouldn't move at all. So go ahead and move the scalpel and watch it hang. Flat over. The next two should go really quickly. We know exactly how long we want the chain to be and everything, so, and we've been through it once now before. Yeah, so we want to put it up there and see how it would hang and make sure it's good for anything else. So we're gonna go ahead and prefab the rest of these lights, get the chains all hooked up so it's the proper length. Yeah, and, and make we'll... sure it's not hanging to the left. <laughs> I lost my train of thought, yeah? <laughs> so we'll get, them, get them all hooked up, get the, get the cords ran through them all, get them all built down here, and we'll bring them up. Warm up and whammo bammo done. Not yeah. a deal. Not so bad. No. Just a little bit sticky feeling up there, but it's not so bad. And the good news is the kids are completely distracted with all of the bubble wrap that these things came in. So they the are outside in life, just guys. popping away. Remember the days of staying up late when we snuck in through your window. Your mom got so mad that I couldn't help but laugh when I saw how far back your eyes rolled. And we still don't do what we're told We'll never get old
Well, we rode through town with our music too loud. And we sang out a tune every old. And we stood on the edge with your arms outstretched. I was Jack and you were my old. I swore I'd never let go. We'll never get old. I think we ran into the scaffold. We went about to make it happen, babe, about the uh, scaffold. No. Lad ladder wouldn't have worked. No, absolutely not. I couldn't have done it. One left to do we gotta kind of finagle that way because uh the scaffold doesn't really fit yeah i we'll, think we'll break something up makes it make it work it's not it's not they're too heavy to put it, doing it on a ladder oh yes me and you yeah that would have really been risky had we tried to attempt that yeah and we would have if we didn't have the scaffolding because <laughs> that's how we do things <laughs> <laughs> we'd have made it work we also have one more light that goes in the kitchen um, a piece of Romex been hanging down for a long time. Been capped off, so it's safe. Um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, device it, and uh, and then we're gonna light everything up at night and see what it looks like inside and outside. And I, I just can't wait. That's gonna be all the lights in the interior of the house that are done. Yeah, all of them. That sucks. Yeah, one of the panels shattered, obviously. It fell out. Maybe when we tilted it and it slid out, and who knows, but it fell, hit, it actually bounced off the scaffold. Yes, because we have one of those uh, like walking things that's right below us, so there's three of them up here. It fell, boom, boom, and hit the, hit the ground and shattered. <laughs> We're in a tight spot, as you can see right here. So we, we lifted it up, from the ground to Josh who was on the middle panel got it up there just fine I got up here with him and then we needed to go up one more level but we couldn't lift it straight up from here because it was hitting right here so the we the ceiling we leaned it to you know get it. Get it. <laughs> at least it's just it was just glass I mean we can the light pitch is not broken that's an expensive thing if I dropped that I've been pissed but yes I'm, I can deal with the glass we can get this glass company it's a single pane of glass and we can get a piece cut and put it back in. Yes. Not a big deal. It still sucks though. It's, it's a bummer. Happy. It's it's okay. I mean, it could have been worse. You know? Yeah. 
Maybe I shouldn't have said that because we're not completely done with the project yet. <laughs> well, I mean, this did fall. I mean, but see, the thing the thing was is we we weren't sure that this upper level was going to fit here. So initially, we were thinking that I was going to actually have to hold it up while you put this one in. Whereas yeah. out there, it just was able to sit perfectly on the top of the scaffolding while he worked it, it. So. Not a deal. Okay. We'll take care of it. It sucks. <laughs> not happy, but no big deal. Yeah, just a little glass. It'll be all right, Josh, okay? It'll be all right. All right, let's get it in. <laughs> it's still not tall enough? Nah, it's okay. We'll slide it over. I'll make the cord extra long. We'll tuck the cord in the box, and uh, we need you to pick it up now. Oh my get it in. gosh. <laughs> it's really heavy. Well, I mean, it's, it's a piece of glass lighter. <laughs> Right? Uh, we only got one chance this bed. It's do or die. Get on your knees. I'll pick it up, you slide in, keep your knees on the ground, and we'll put it on the top of your thighs. One, two, three, good. Hun, 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 hun. You got that? Yeah. Doing good, girl. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. How are you? Alright, slow it, put it down. We got that. Told you. Told you, the thigh. The thigh. Told you it's thick enough. <laughs> yeah, you know, I knew it was thick enough. <laughs> So, 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 so glad that's over with. Wasn't that bad? No, it wasn't. It was a little nerve wracking. The lights are heavy though. Now, they're I've, heavy. I've, I've, I've put up bigger lights than this, but I mean, they're not as heavy as this one. And he's more comfortable up high yes. too, because you've had more experience up there yeah. than I have. I've gotten a lot better, but I'm still not fully comfortable. You can hear it in her voice. I'm, I'm <laughs> She's a little bit sick. I thought I was going to throw up when we were up there. <laughs> I'm glad to get, I'm getting back down now. For good. <laughs> All right, set the scalp down. We're down with the scalp. Now all three of those lights are up, they're good to go. Josh has done a beautiful job with the lighting in the house. <laughs> and now we are on to the last one, which is strip lighting that's going to go above the island yes. and kind of like shine down on the island. Yeah, it's an LED strip light, kind of like we did in our bathroom. And I guess also up top right here that goes mm -hmm. down the entire ridge of the house. I'm gonna put, put a plug up there, plug her in, and uh, I can change all the colors in any color I want off an app. What color lights do you want daddy to put on? Blue. Blue lights? Yeah. Okay, we'll do them blue first. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and plug this guy in. This is a little transformer. Um, it goes from 120 volts in, obviously you have to plug and it drops down to 16 volts to run the strip lights right here. So these lights will Go up on that little lip right there. We'll take the uh, 3M sticky back off, put it on there. It should stick to that and uh, get the 12 volts and they're gonna change colors. They're blue! Why not they then turn to red? Oh, now we gotta have them red, Dad. Oh! <laughs> it's pink! pink. Want to turn white? Oh. It's green! Oh, in sleep, Time to get moving.